नमस्कार एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लेट्स टर्न इन वर्ल्ड वी आर ट्राइंग टू कवर इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम ईस्टर्न फिलोसफी एंड स्पिरिचुअलिटी दिस इज आवर एफर्ट टू मेक एवरीवन टर्निंग इन वर्ल्ड टू फाइंड अल्टीमेट इन देयर लाइफ लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड आवर टुडेस टॉपिक इज फोर स्टेट्स ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस वी लुक फ्रॉम टू पर्सपेक्टिव वन इज द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ साइंटिफिक रिसर्च एंड अनदर वन इज from the ancient vedantic philosophy before making this video we have studied the english translation of mandukya upanishad which initially described four states of consciousness later on many experts translated upanishad in different languages if you want to study on your own please leave your interest in the comments we can provide original literature and english translation as well Okay let's start There are four basic states of consciousness and they are jagriti which means wakeful state second is swapna which is dreaming state third is susupti which is known as dreamless sleep or deep sleep and most importantly the fourth state is turiya which also known as sleepless sleep or mindless space Now scientists also develop the way that we can understand waves in human brain. We can measure the level of neuronal activities inside our brain. The process of measuring brain waves is called EEG. As shown in this picture, this can measure and evaluate electrical activities in our brain. When researchers were conducted their study they came to this finding that there are five categories of waves according to brain wave cycle per second and there are gamma waves which means 31 to 120 cycle per second and it is the state of hypertension second is beta waves which includes 30 to 30 13 to 30 cycle per second and this is the normal wakeful state next is alpha waves which means 8 to 12 cycle per second and this is the state of relaxation next is theta waves which means 4 to 7 cycle per second and the final one is delta waves this indicates brain activity falls on nearly zero or 0.5 to 3 cycle per second now let's start in details so the first state is jagriti or wakeful state as we know it is beta state in this state all five senses work and we have dualistic view and we recognize vision taste smell sound and feel let's move to the second state this is swapna swapna state is dreaming state this is also known as alpha state in this state five senses are in rest but mind is working actually mind modify the material supplied from jagriti state our third state is susupti or deep sleep state which is also known as theta state as i said earlier it means sleeping like a log or deep sleep in this state we are unaware of mind as well but it is in seed form in sanskrit we call it bijavastha okay now here we came to most important state of our consciousness and that is turiya which is also known as fourth state of consciousness it is also known as brahma state or god state where brain waves are around 0.5 to 3 cycle per second which is delta state this is also known as state of experience of ultimate reality yogi described this state as samadhi saint described this state as chaitanya and buddha described this state as nirvana now let's have a look at the chart where we can see how four states of consciousness 
and five layers of human body can be studied together. I will make another video about five layers of body, which are Annamaikos, Pranamaikos, Manamaikos, Vigyanamaikos, and Anandamaikos. The Mind Unleashed is an online portal where we can find different research and articles related with human mind. I have gathered few topics and information about conscious mind, subconscious mind, unconscious mind, and superconscious mind. As we can see in the screen, the conscious mind is the ability to direct our focus, and the subconscious mind refers the memories, such as what your telephone number is, how to drive a car, or how to swim. And the final one is the super consciousness. This is the state of transcending human consciousness relating to or possessing the highest consciousness or margin of consciousness. It also called as collective and cosmic consciousness. Now I have made one chart where we can see all the information together that we have discussed in this video. You can have a look and understand the correlation between those topics. As all we know, we take Om as the highest form or mantra in Eastern philosophy. In this case as well, we can see how Om denotes four states of our consciousness. As we see in this picture on the bottom curve of Om, which indicates our Jagriti state. Let's move to the right side. This is the mind curve, which is very famous symbol in Zen Buddhism, and it shows the state of Sopna. Let's move to further upper part which denotes the state of Susupti. If we see on the top, we see the dot. We can call it Bindu, which is the symbol of Turiya or bliss. As we see, it is covered by semicircle, which is Maya, illusion, or we can say dualistic nature of mind. Now we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please do like, share and subscribe our channel so we can make more videos about different topics which can help us to turn you noir. Thank you. Namaskar.